I like kites. I like kites. They fly high. They fly high. They keep on spinning round and round. Sometimes they even touch the ground. They fly through the air without a sound. Oh, I like kites. Wow, I sure do like flying my kite. High up in the air. Yeah, and uh, look at all those beautiful kites. Yeah, and the wind. Wow, that wind is really keeping all those kites flying high. Yeah, well, I like flying my kite. Now there's a big gust of wind coming. Uh-oh, oh no. I, I think it's taking me away with it. Uh-oh, what did I do? Oh no, I think it is taking me away. Oh, it's taking me away. Oh! There's a big gust of wind! Oh, I'm flying through the air with my kite! Ah! Oh, I feel like a kite myself! Oh, let's go fly a kite up to the highest height! Let's go fly a kite! And send it soaring up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly a kite. He had a really good time at the beach flying his kite way up in the sky. And the kite took him away and he went high in the sky. But I think he really had a good time at the beach. And I'm pretty sure that was a really long time ago because right now we have snow. But anyway, I'd like to have this flannel board activity to do with you today. Again, all about kites because as we've said, Kites stay in the air by the wind that's blowing. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready? What color kite is this? Red. Red kite, red kite in the sky. I see a red kite flying by. Put that right there. You ready? What color is this? Blue. Blue kite, blue kite in the sky. I see a blue kite flying by. What color is this? Yellow. Yellow kite, yellow kite in the sky. I see a yellow kite flying by. Color kites, color kites in the sky. Red, blue, and yellow kites flying by. Now we're going to have a little fun, all right? I'm going to take this right here. Does anybody know what this is? That's right, it's a hair dryer. Maybe someone in your house uses a hair dryer. Now I'm going to turn it on. What's happening? That's right. It's blowing the air all around and the wind is in my face and it's blowing my hair. So let's make these kites blow all around. Let's make their tails blow. Are you ready? Let's make the red tail move. See how the wind is making the red tail move? Now let's make the blue tail move. So the blue kite's tail is going to move around. And the next one is yellow. Let's make the yellow tail move around. Can you tell me how many kites I have on my flannel board? One, two, three. Here are some books that you can check out from the library. I Am the Wind by Michael Card. Here's a nonfiction book 
about wind, kite day, a bear and mole story, really cute story, Kite Flying by Grace Lynn. And I wanted to highlight two books. The first one is Up by Joe Cepeda. And look what happens. What is he holding in his hand? Actually, should I be holding the book like this? No. The book is called Up, and he's flying in the air, kind of like what Corky did. And he's taking his pinwheel like this, and it takes him flying high everywhere, and he goes all through the neighborhood. Other things are flying along with him, too. See how my pinwheel's moving? Just like in the book, the wind is taking the pinwheel and taking the little boy as well. I have a special friend with me today, and I think she wants to play with her pinwheel. Let's go have some pinwheel fun. All right, Harper, I'm going to pretend that this ball is a cloud. And the wind, that's it, you're going to blow it. And the wind moves the clouds in the sky. Are you moving the cloud in the sky? Good job. Okay, now we're outside. And we're going to blow some bubbles outside. Do you feel the wind? I feel the wind. But do you see the wind is moving my hair? As we said earlier, wind is just air that's moving along. So I'm going to take the air from my lungs and I'm going to blow and make these bubbles, hopefully. And you'll see how the wind takes the bubbles and floats them away. That's a big bubble over there. Sometimes the wind can make a bubble for me. And as I move that, the wind goes and makes bubbles. And I really enjoy blowing bubbles. Maybe not when it's this cold outside. And I love to hear the wind moving through the wind chimes and making beautiful music. Here at my friend's house, you can see her wind chime and how the wind is making that move. Look up in those trees and the branches. The wind is making those branches sway back and forth. And here's the American flag waving in the wind. The next book I'd like to highlight for you is Argyle Fox by Marie Letourneau. And here is little Argyle Fox. This is Argyle Fox, and he lives in the tree in the forest. Sometimes in early spring, the wind whips down the mountainside and through the trees. See how the illustrator drew the wind so you can see it on the pages. One such day, Argyle told his mother, I am going outside to play cards. So that's what he did. He grabbed some cards and went outside, and there he made a card castle. Have you ever made a card castle before? What do you think's going to happen when the wind comes? <gasps> Whoosh! That's right. All the cards go flying through the air. I wonder what his next activity is going to be. Oh, there he is. He's in the forest, and Argyle created a web for the world's scariest spider. 
What's going to happen when the wind comes? Whoosh! And there it goes. That's gone too. Poor Argyle. And then he decides to play pirate. And here comes the wind. Whoosh! And there goes his pirate hat flying through the air. Next, he decides to play soccer. And there's his soccer ball. Whoosh! The wind takes the soccer ball away. And then he decides to play castle in the wind. Not sure if that's going to work out either. Whoosh! And there it is. It's fallen down his whole castle. I just don't know what kind of activity Argyle Fox is going to be able to play in the wind. He gets a little discouraged and he says, well, I'm never playing in the wind ever, ever again. Perhaps if you think for a while, you will figure out something to play in the wind, said Mama Fox. So I wonder what it is that he's going to choose. What activity is a good activity to do in the wind? Let's turn the page and find out. No way. I'm not going to turn the page. I'm not going to tell you what activity he decides to do in the wind. You are going to have to find out yourself by checking out the book Argyle Fox by Marie Letourneau from Carroll County Public Library. And then you'll find out what he decides to do in the wind. <laughs>